To determine when the two travelers arrive at the town, I make a reach your destination roll. It is a progress roll, which for this journey is a plus six. I roll the challenge dice and get a six and a five. That is a weak hit. I decide that means the pair have arrived, with little incident, but because of their delay, the sun has set, and darkness has settled over the village. Considering the nature of what Rana has described, coming at night could be a problem. Our little detour has unfortunately led us here just as the sun is setting. Rana points to the ruins. Perturbed, the stranger says, our detour? I assumed you knew the way to your own village Rana. They had spent most of the day backtracking from dead ends and false paths. Rana shrugs, ah, yes, well, things change. Rock slides and such. Also, I'm getting on in years. The stranger swallows his aggravation. He wants to get moving and be done with the task he agreed to. Regardless, you needed me to do something, if you are to help protect me against the creature? Rana's demeanor changes, and he breathes in deeply, and closes his eyes as if in meditation. Yes. Carve the hooked cross onto the well, over past that house. Rana gestures up the path. The stranger has a moment of recognition. That symbol. I have seen it before. Rana explains. Yes, but that was most likely in its corrupt form. It used to mean something very different. He shakes his head, and closes his eyes again. When he opens, they grow wide and his voice grows angry. Now go. Before the sun sets completely and she comes out. The stranger narrows his eyes at this change, and asks. She? Rana starts to get angry. Just go. All right. And the stranger turns to leave. The stranger passes by empty buildings, each abandoned and decaying. He reaches the end of the path. Turning the corner, he finds what he came for. Looks like I found the well. It's just a well. Let's be quick about it. He says to himself stealing his courage. He is not sure why he is afraid, but something hostile emanates from the structure. I make a face danger roll, using edge plus 2, because he wants to do it quickly, and get out of there. I get a 2, for a 4 total, to a 9 and 3 challenge dice for a weak hit. His hand shakes with an unknowable fear, as he attempts to carve the symbol all onto one of the stones of the well. He finally finishes it, and steps back. Alright. Done. But as he steps away, something emerges from the well, behind him and speaks. Where does it go in such a hurry? Stay a while, stranger. There's no reason to leave so soon. The stranger turns quickly. So, you're the creature Rana warned me about? I have names, stranger. You can call me... Nazmi. It is the least you can do after... desecrating my home with that filthy symbol. He considers her words, and says, Judging by the fact you are rooted to that spot, I made the right choice. Nazmi's eyes flash and she pounces forward as far as she can.
The stranger leaps away, but doesn't run. The oceans are wide and deep, stranger. And all water finds its way back to them. This well is one portal amongst many. I will find you again. And burying that bag of bones will only mollify a sad old man and fulfill an empty vow. Despite her threats, the stranger finds his courage. Silence, monster. Go back to your well and rot there. He brandishes his sword at her. Hey, some action. Finally. Oh, wait. Not that. I make a compel roll, using iron. With a 2, plus 3, I get a strong hit, and take plus 1 momentum. Nazmi is not easily cowed, but sharp iron is enough to keep her away. The stranger steps closer, his sword at the ready. She flees a little, but then turns back. She is enraged, but does not advance closer. From off in the distance, Rana breaks the tension, and calls, Stranger. Have you completed the task? Is it safe? No, stranger. It will never be safe for you. Tired of her threats, and assured that she cannot leave her well, he tells her shut up. He then walks away to signal to Rana to come. I have done as you asked. Come now. I have need of you. Rana sounds relieved. Of course. Right away. The stranger turns back to the well, and Nazmi is not there. She's gone. For now. The pair work together to dig a shallow hole and place the bag of bones into it. The stranger doesn't speak to Rana about what he saw, but Rana doesn't need to be told to know. The next day, the stranger bids Rana goodbye and rows back to the ship. He tells Captain Chenda of his success. Again, he leaves out Nazmi and hopes this is the last he will see of her. Captain Chenda sleeps easy for the first time in a long time. The next day, they set out for the ragged coast.